What is going on around here today? I got a pretty awesome Dragon Ball Xenos update for you guys and I'm sure you're pretty hyped because you read the title of this video But uh, right now Paris Games Week is going on or it finished. I'm not really sure when it's actually going on I just know this is all from Paris Games Week and as these interviews with the developers of Dragon Ball Xenos come out and get translated I will report on each and every one of them if they're worth it and this current interview uh, has quite a bit of awesome information and I already like I said you're already pretty hyped because you read the title of this video because it confirms how far you can transform with your creative characters so let's go ahead and go down the list of what was talked about in this interview and I'll basically break down everything that was said so the first question was was Toriyama involved with Dragon Ball Xenoverse and the answer was no surprisingly the only involvement Toriyama had with Dragon Ball Xenoverse was he basically thumbs it up he looked at it and said yep this is cool he also kind of oversaw the character designs but everything else in uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse was done by dims so it's kind of weird because you know Toriyama was basically the only person who was in charge of Dragon Ball Online, and it's kind of funny how he had nothing to do with Dragon Ball Z Universe, which takes me to the next question: uh, How much like Dragon Ball Online is Dragon Ball Z Universe? And the surprising answer was not like it at all. They said it's a brand new story, completely fresh, with the characters from Dragon Ball Online, which is kind of funny because Dragon Ball Online had a pretty awesome story as is, and the fact that. They're doing a brand new story is, is pretty cool and refreshing to me, and I'm pretty excited to play it when it comes out. Because I kind of already spoiled Dragon Ball Online for myself when I read through the history of it. So the fact that, you know, I'm going to jump into a fresh game has me even more hyped about this game. So the next question that comes up was around GT. Because they mentioned that they're showing off Super Saiyan 4 Goku uh, and as well Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And the question was, is will there be more GT characters added in the game? To which uh, the producer of Dragon Ball Zero said, uh, yes, but not immediately. Right now, their main focus is completing the main game. Game. And once they're done with that, they're going to add more stuff onto it. So the way I see it is I feel like Dragon Ball GT characters are definitely going to be DLC and they're definitely going to be added later after the game is developed. Uh, which can, It could start tomorrow. It could start after the game comes out. I'm not really sure. But as soon as there's more details around that, I'll let you guys know. But for now, just know that uh, GT is not a priority and it's going to be added more as a bonus, which makes me think that this is going to be DLC when the game comes out. So for right now, though, we are going to get Super Saiyan 4 Goku from the looks of it and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta to those who pre order the game or get the day one edition. But in terms of everybody else, uh, we don't know yet. Which is kind of funny because we saw all those characters that were uh, found in the beta files when Sergio data mined it. But for now, uh, GT is going to get added after the game, or GT characters are going to get added after the game is done. So, you know, if you guys have any questions about that, feel free to ask. But I'm, like I said, I'm only limited to what I know, and I'll try my best to answer the questions there. Uh, to those who do like GT, which characters do you guys really want to see? Let me know in the comments below. Which also, by the way, uh, the developer said what we as a community want. They're going to give us, so uh, I guess they're keeping their eyes on forums, on YouTube videos. They're really looking everywhere. They being Bada Namco and Dims, they're really looking everywhere, and they're basically gathering as much information of what we as fans would want in this game, and they're going to give it to us, which is freaking awesome about this. So anytime you guys have a chance to give feedback, make sure you do it. Make sure you go on everyone's videos, comment away. Like we're going to let Bada Namco know what we want. So with that said, let me know which characters you guys want in, in, uh, from the GT world in Dragon Ball Z Universe, and add that to the comment section below. And then I can probably try to pass that information along when they request it. Uh, the, ne next, the next question I was asked is how many characters are they going to be in Dragon Ball Z Universe? To which, of course, the, develop the producer of Dragon Ball Z Universe could not answer just yet. He did say that he wants to release that information soon. Uh, soon could be tomorrow, soon could be in a couple months, we don't know. But he did say that they're kind of like wrapping up that number and they're going to let us know sometime fairly soon which again it's weird because soon can be tomorrow soon can also be in a couple months so as soon as that comes out of course i will let you guys know but if you guys have your own theories how many characters you want to see in this game feel free to add it to the comment section below now the last bit of news and this is probably why i clicked on this title it has been confirmed how many transformations there are per characters now the question i'm pretty sure it was a translation error the question asks is how many uh, like how many transformations do you have with your character to which the developer uh, said you can transform between Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3. Now, I assume if the Saiyan race has three forms, that also means that Frieza's race has that, as well as the Majin race, as well as maybe the Namekian race. Because the way I see this, it would be unfair if the Super Saiyan race only had three forms, and like the Namekians had like one, and Frieza had like, you know, one as well. I feel like they have to balance it out and give like an equal number to everything. So the fact that they said Saiyans... 
uh, can transform to Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3, it makes me think that, you know, maybe so can the rest of the races you choose from. As of right now, we don't know what the limitations are with the hardware or what they actually plan on doing. What they even plan on doing for Namekians. Are they going to be great Namics? Are they going to go Super Namek? What? We just know that as a Super Saiyan, as, or I guess as a human or Saiyan race, you can go Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3. Now, to those who are wondering, why can't you go Super Saiyan 4? The producer stated, the only reason why you can't go Super Saiyan 4 is because you actually have to transform into the Great Ape to achieve that form, which now makes me think, will they probably not have any forms of giants in the game? Uh, I mean, there, there were, like, you know, hints given in the past that giants might be in the game, but, you know, the fact that he said, you know, you have to transform as a giant to achieve Super Saiyan 4, which is the reason why you can't do that in the game, makes me believe that there probably will not be giants in the game as well. Now, of course, this is all speculations, all rumor. There could be probably translations errors there as well. But all we know is this is Super Saiyan. You can go Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3 in the middle of bat, uh, bat, batch, match. So what do you guys think about that? Are you excited? Personally, I am super hyped because, you know, the whole time I was thinking, I feel like they're only going to give us one transformation per, per race. And although that does not completely disappoint me, I just want to go further. Like, I want to be able to power up a character to the point where he is the strongest Rhyme Style Warrior on the Dragon Ball Z universe. And the fact that they just announced that we'll be able to go Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3 pretty much has me excited. Now, of course, as soon as they confirm more, as soon as more uh, news comes out and more interviews get translated from Paris Games Week, I will let you guys know, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel, subscribe if you're new here, punch that like button right in the face, and let me know what you guys think. Your feedback is greatly appreciated, and I love reading your comments, and of course, any feedback you guys give me in general, I could pass on to Bananako, so make sure you start commenting away, and let me know what you guys think about today's update so yeah so that wraps up just about everything you know as soon as we find out more like i said specifically around you know don't take any of the stuff as complete news just yet because you know just because i said there's not gonna be giants in there does not mean that's for sure this is just my speculation off of what uh the producer said because he could he probably could have just made up that answer as a bullshit answer saying well you gotta transform into a great ape to go super saiyan 4 so it doesn't work i feel that's kind of like a you know like a bullshit answer just to kind of like you know say why you can't go super saiyan 4 in in um in the series uh, but also, the, I guess that confirms that we can't transform into Super Saiyan Gal with the creator characters. So how do you guys feel about that? I'm personally okay with that because I feel like, you know, transforming into Super Saiyan God as a creator character will be kind of OP. I mean, let's be real here. So I'm glad that they are limited only to Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3. And as soon as we find out some more in regards to what the rest of the races will do, I'll let you guys know. So, feel free to let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about today's update video. And yeah, we'll just take it from there. Uh, again, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to punch it like right in the face, punch that like button right in the face, and I will see all you awesome Super Sandwich, Super Sandwiches in the comment section below. Peace.